everybody, and welcome to Personal FX. Turn ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's take a gander at some of the items we're going to be appraising on today's show. Got ourselves that wind-up tin duck there. I wonder what that's worth. Got an Elvis Presley book. All kinds of great stuff. Some of them might be up for sale. We'll find out. Mm, looks like fun. Uh-huh. We're going to be talking about the collectability about Pez dispensers. And we are going to reveal to you a cross-collectible 20 years in the making, never before seen on television. <laughs> Won't even be available until the spring. What is it? We'll show you a little bit later on. Now, that's exciting. Uh -huh. And all this week's thing of excitement, the show is in New Orleans. Great food there, as well as great music. Of course, that's a typical shot of the French Quarter. What a great place. Our super collector lives six miles nearby in Charlotte, Louisiana. And in fact, he has a very impressive collection of memorabilia of the rock band Kiss. Where, well, he has over 1,000 pieces. We'll be seeing part of that collection. Can't wait. All that's coming up on Personal FX. <laughs> Say hello to today's guests in the apartment. Hello, guests. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to, this is Tim here. Hi, Tim. How are you, sir? Fine, thanks. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Biggins, New York. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. What do you have appraised? It's actually a, a tin goose. A tin goose? It's yes. a tin goose. <laughs> Big difference. Now, what do you know about this? Well, uh, it was purchased at an auction, and you wind it and the head bobs and kind of pecks the ground. Oh, that's a big deal. I, Claire Carter loves that, I'm sure. Claire, you love that, don't you? Absolutely. A wind up, a wind up goose. That's something else. Good luck with that. Thank you. If you'd like to be a guest, our FX apartment, give us a call at that Sprint-sponsored 1-800-FX-FX-FX1 number, and we will set it up. Let's go out to Chalmette, Louisiana, where J.D. is visiting with today's super collector. Hi there, J.D. Hey, John, how are you? Uh, Look at this place. This is a, a great house, and our super collector today bought this house specifically for this room because it could house his entire collection hey. of KISS memorabilia. Hey, this, is, this is Anthony Gagliano. Now, Anthony, you've only been collecting KISS memorabilia for about six years, but your love of the band goes back almost 20, right? Oh, yeah, at least 20 years. And what made you start collecting? Uh, I actually saw an uh, ad in a, a magazine about uh, Kiss uh, albums and stuff, some old stuff I didn't have. So I, I purchased it, and then it just started from there. Started, so you didn't keep any of your original no, I never had, stuff, right? other than just a few albums that I had. Okay, well, he obviously has been working very hard over the last six years. He's amassed quite a Kiss collection, and we're going to take a closer look when we come back. You know, J.D., it's amazing how many of today's artists say that they were influenced by Kiss, Garth Brooks included. We were talking about Garth Brooks earlier. It is amazing. And, and they were highly marketed from, like, I think, 77 to 80. They were one of the most highly marketed uh, musical bands around. So right. there's a lot of Kiss stuff out there. We'll check in with you and uh, Anthony a little bit later on. Thanks, J.D. All right. Okay, let's get out. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go out to Southern Louisiana, because if there's one guy that wants to rock and roll... All night, it's J.D. J.D.? Hey, John, look at this. I'm reading this article, and this is an article on our super collector in the New Orleans Times Picayune, and he had this article with him when he met the band members from KISS, and he had them sign the article. In fact, they were so interested in it that they asked him to send them a copy of the article. So, John, we're dealing today with a true historian. We'll be back with more Kiss Collectibles coming up next on Personal FX. Did you know that a smashed Paul Stanley Iceman guitar can fetch from $600 to $800? See, it's become a tradition at every KISS concert that uh, guitarist and lead singer Paul Stanley smashes his Iceman guitar at the end of uh, Rock and Roll All Night. And if you can get a piece of that, don't throw it out in the audience, if you get that guitar, you're looking at six to $800. Oh, John, the fiddler in the roof is a song tradition, you know, like, what a tradition. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like see that? Too. Look at that. Tradition. <laughs> That's right, a lot of tradition, because the band is still together. They're making great music. J.D., show us some more, you and Anthony. Hey, John, uh, John and Claire, Anthony is a faithful viewer of Personal FX. He's always watching the show looking for Kiss memorabilia, but you haven't bought anything. No. Why is that? 
because I have to work during the day. So you uh, take have to tape it, and so. So you're looking for kiss memorabilia. Anything. So put the word out. Yeah. Put the word out. All right, let's take a look at some of the great pieces he has acquired already. Look at this kiss pinball machine. Do you guys remember this? Damn. This is from 1978. Tell us about this. Uh, this was put out in 78. They, uh, they manufactured a whole lot of them. Uh, they were pretty much everywhere. And they were in a lot of uh, pinball arcades in that. A lot of arcades. So it's, it's hard to find them in such good condition, right? No, there was in a lot of ballrooms. And they just, they were, most of them in deplorable condition. Mm -hmm. A lot of them get wore out right here. And look at this. He had the bumper signed by all the band members. Oh, that is great. I actually took piece by piece, sent them to friends of mine that I know around the country that were going to meet the band. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's probably two or three different people I had to send these pieces to. So what's the value of this, do you think? Uh, it's around twelve to $1,500. Really? Now, how much without it being signed? Uh, maybe around 1000 Really? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now look at this. This is interesting. This is an authentic piece of, uh, of a Kiss costume, right? Right. This is uh, off of Peter Chris's 1979 Dynasty costume. Uh, Lovely outfit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get this? He actually sold these towels from his costumes a couple of years ago at a convention. And I actually had to track one of them down so I can put it in my collection because I never actually had a piece of their costume. So what's the value of this? Uh, I'd say roughly around $400. God. They like to kiss and tail. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no more fun. Oh. This is cool. This is a gold album, and this is an authentic gold album. This is a, a reproduction. Where, how'd you get that? Trading it? Uh, this is a trade and cash deal that I made from a guy in New York. Uh, it's, more of a, it's a more recent one because it has a gold CD and it's made mm -hmm. with it. That's great. Now look at this. This is a flicker, a kiss flicker, and it has no real purpose. <laughs> but if you, if you go like this, they change faces. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Tell me about this. Uh, I think this was originally mounted on a mirror. Uh, I think it's around 1978 or so, 77. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about all I know about it. You know? And what's the value of this? I have to say around maybe 100, 150. Wow. I don't know as many of them out there. Now, I think what's interesting, you have two children. Right. And you said that your daughter is totally afraid of any of this kiss stuff. That's right. How does she react? She just doesn't come in here? She doesn't come in at all. No. Really? My little boy likes to come in and play with my remote control van, but other than that, uh, they stay out. Daddy's got a scary collection. <laughs> Look at this. this. This is interesting. These are uh, a set of glasses from, not Slurpees, but a Slurpee-type drink, right? Like a drink or an icy type of thing. Uh, they were back in 78. Uh, and these were, there were eight of them issued? And this eight is of them, a very limited uh, edition of them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't around very long. And uh, they, they sell for around $400, just like there. I just see this four free cups you mm -hmm. get back then. $400, mm -hmm. can you believe that? Amazing. Just because you can't find all of them, so it's a complete set. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. This is a Kiss acetate, and uh, this is from your favorite song, right? Yes, this is a song, I Want You, off my favorite album, which is Rock and Roll Over. Uh, now tell us about the acetate. acetate. I probably shouldn't have my finger on it, right? No, it doesn't matter. Acetates are what the actual they print in the studio before they make the album. Mm -hmm. It's oh. more like an engineer would listen to it just to check and see the sound quality. Wow, that's great. Now what's the value of this? Because again, you have it signed. Uh, it's probably around three fifty, four hundred. All right, and when you think you've seen it, seen it all, you're wrong. This is an interesting piece. This is a Kiss Kids jogging outfit, and you had never seen one of these I've never before, seen right? it, never heard of anybody that's ever had one before. I know a lot of jogging <laughs> people. And it's just... And it was made from, from about Sears and Roebuck. Sears and Roebuck. They also made pajamas and for kids, a lot of kids' clothes. And one thing for sure, his daughter will never wear that. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> it has the Kiss characters on it. Thank you very much. And uh, that's a look at, at a, a true Kiss historian. Here, right outside of New Orleans. Hey, J.D., let me ask Anthony, before people start thinking that Kiss is just a band from the 70s, they did really well recently by putting the makeup back on, didn't they? Oh, uh, yes, they're uh, the biggest grossing band last year for a concert. Boy, that is amazing. And they're currently in Japan, tour. They're in Japan right now, and they're going to be in Europe. And you've seen them, what, nine or ten times? I've seen them a total of nine times and three times uh, this past year.
Uh, the Kiss Army lives on. Anthony, Anthony, JD, thank you both very much. All right, guys. Don't leave home without your Kiss warm-up outfit. You're jogging in. But I love pinball machine. That's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In that condition, you yeah. just don't find that stuff. Say goodbye to JD and find out what's up for tomorrow. JD? Hey, tomorrow we'll be in Jefferson, Louisiana with Little Kittles. And we want to thank Anthony for uh, showing us his Kiss collection. Now, the Super Bowl is the big event Saturday, but the Mardi Gras uh, <laughs> is just three weeks away, so we have our King Cake, ne King Cake necklaces on. Have fun, J.D. Have fun. Well, we right. thank you all for being such wonderful guests. And to all of you at home, have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. So long, everybody. Wow.